Argentina is the next frontier for copper growth. No question, we've seen the BHP Landin deal there. There's a number of projects there, and it looks like a very exciting jurisdiction to invest in. Our projects there are world-class. El Pachon or the Greenfield is just enormous. We've mentioned before we've had to stop our drilling program because the more we drill, the more we find. We don't need to find any more. And Mara being effectively an extension of the old uh, of the old operations that we have there, it's a low capital intensity brownfield project, and that's likely to be first to market when the market needs it. So, in addition to the growth that EVR brings us, we we have significant growth, another up to a million tons of copper uh, that we can bring on, and we will bring on over time as the market needs it. The summary of where we are: a leading copper producer. We know that we produce a million tons of copper. As mentioned on the previous slide, we'll be able to grow up to another million tons of copper as and when we need to, we'll need to bring those projects on. And the key part is it's mostly brownfield stuff. We will be looking to do that sensibly in a capital efficient manner and in a market efficient manner when the time is right. Our energy and steel making coal business, the energy or steam coal business under our responsible rundown strategy still contains best in class tier one assets with very high quality steam coal that the world needs today. Um, and as you've seen, coal prices, particularly out of Newcastle, are looking very strong as the world continues to be hungry for energy as it decarbonizes, and, but the world continues to grow. It needs that energy, it needs that high quality coal, and we provide that. Steel making coal, now a key uh, part of our business with EBR. It's always been important for us, but now much more important with EBR. A certain, certainly a transition enabling commodity, a critical mineral in many parts of the world, uh, absolutely critical for decarbonization infrastructure, uh, an SND balance or an SND scenario that looks very exciting given the inability for major ramp up in supply and the fact that it is a commodity that is not easily substituted or removed from requirements in terms of steel making. Uh, very excited with that and, and, and certainly a key part of our business now that we're a major producer of steel making coal. Also a supply of battery and other material with big suppliers of zinc, nickel, lead, cobalt, manganese, ferrochrome and vanadium in more parts of the world. These are key inputs into decarbonization, key inputs into industrialization and for our customers we become a one-stop shop in terms of supplying all their needs with respect to these commodities. Our recycling business charges on. Uh, doing very well. We continue to produce all the critical minerals out of our recycling business. And again, it's something that sets us apart from many of our competitors because we're able to provide those recycled materials. And as we see the world continue to progress and we see a ramp up in end of life batteries, particularly out of the EV industry, uh, that business is set to continue to grow. Our marketing business, the guidance of three to three and a half billion for the year, which is certainly a normal range of 2.2 to 3.2, doing very well. And the other thing, given that it's diversified across our commodities, where last year or the year before, your know, last year it was a predominantly an energy-based marketing uh, result. Uh, the first half of this year has been predominantly metals-based. So as the world evolves, as opportunities come up, as um, there are uh, arbitrage opportunities in, in whichever market uh, those present themselves, we are able to uh, maximize profits and, and, and capitalize on those opportunities. And then lastly, a business that's very strong, very cash generative, spot illustri illustrative numbers, EBITDA of 17.3 billion and uh, free cash flow of 6.1 billion. So looking forward to a very strong second half of the year.